Natasha Chilambo is a medical student and campaigner for black, Asian and minority ethnic community representation in healthcare. Uh, Natasha, good to have you with us. Now, as a medical student yourself, what do you put the disproportionate number of deaths down to? Um, as most of people have been talking about, there's uh, lots of factors that are going into it. So um, you can look at people have mentioned comorbidities such as hypertension, um, diabetes or heart disease that are more present in people from BME backgrounds. Um, social factors are part of this, so uh, impoverishment amongst our communities um, is much higher. Um, and also exposure, so when we look at uh, who at the moment is doing frontline work, who are the key workers, so um, people who are delivering, people who are working um, as carers, as nurses, as doctors, people who are um, running our bus services that are still going, they are far more exposed than uh, our white counterparts. Um, so lots of factors that are going into it. Yeah, I mean, it is it is a very complex picture. Um, I mean, the obvious reason is that a lot of these people um, are uh, f form a, a large section of the the, the frontline workers who who are uh, exposed to coronavirus. We know the government has uh, ordered a review into this issue. To what end? What what do you think should change? I think ultimately that's the question. Um, the first reaction I had today was uh, at what point will this stop being shocking news? Um, so it's been happening uh, for a really long time. So black and brown people um, die uh, more than other people. So like very recently we looked at maternity mortality, for example. And again, we get surprised and we have to ask ourselves what are the things that can happen for these things to change? And we have to look uh, really humbly and deeply at the structural forces that go into it. Um, so considering uh, access to housing, health, access to food, access to uh, proper healthcare, um, looking at who is able to obtain what type of job. So um, what, what does a key worker look like? Uh, is it possible for people to have alternative jobs? Uh, do they have the capacity or the opportunities for that to make them less exposed? Um, so loads of different things that can happen. I mean, do you, do you think that this highlights social inequalities? And uh, and if so, have we not seen a, a picture like this emerge before? Absolutely. And that is uh, the, the saddest thing about this. Um, I was shocked, but uh, unsurprised. Um, and as a medical student, I see I had a, a lecture today and we were doing a, a revision session around uh, dermatology presentations in uh, children and the entire lecture didn't talk about uh, what these rashes, for example, look like on pigmented skin. Um, and this is a medical school in the middle of London and we have a large proportion of uh, ethnic minorities. And if my medical education doesn't include, uh, uh, doesn't consider uh, black and brown people in the same way as uh, white people, what does that say about me as a doctor? Um, in the future. So, so many things that we have to look at in order to unpack this horrible thing. Well, uh, look, let's hope that people like yourself uh, can make a difference. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Natasha Gilambo there.